Hello and welcome to Time Tag. I'm just going to walk through the next couple of minutes how to get started with the app and how to get the most out of it. You can look for other videos that will do a deeper dive into some of the other features of the app. But this one's really just a initial launch, what do I do? So here we have our timers on the left and our records will go on the right whenever we begin to have any. I'm actually going to jump down here to these two buttons. This is the Manage Tags button. And then here's the Manage Categories button. So categories are kind of like your projects or folders, or you can think of them as the high-level organization. And your tags are things like the activities or the tasks that you do underneath those things. So in my example today, I'm actually going to jump into the Categories button first. And I'm going to create a category and call it Caparsa because a lot of my work is working for Caparsa. Uh, I'm going to give it a background color and I'm going to go with our pink logo color and hit save. And so I've created my first category and I could create other categories like for different clients I might be working with or uh, different projects and so on. It just depends on how you want to organize it. I'm going to close this window now and jump into the tags area and click the plus button again down here and I'm going to call one blogging since we do a lot of blogging at Caparsa put that in that category I'm going to call one coding which of course is a lot of my time as well and finally let's call this one video making which is what I'm doing right now and I'm going to hit save and great so I have three tags here um, I can also put in a rate but that's not really relevant right now so I'm not going to do that and I'm going to close this window and finally I'm ready to start a timer so all I need to do is just click the big green start button the record screen now updates and shows me that I've got a no tag active I can change that by clicking here where it says to click and I can see my tags pop up here and since I'm currently video making I'm going to select that one and click set tag and my records updates since I didn't start this only 20 seconds ago, I can actually hit this little button here and I can change the start time to a couple of minutes ago. We'll just say it started about 4.11. That's about right, two and a half minutes. And whenever I'm done, I can just click stop and it updates here. I haven't logged enough hours for this to register it since it's just two and a half minutes. Um, but of course, as I add more records and everything, this will update and show you a, a broad overview of how much time you've logged. And whenever I'm ready to export this, let's say I want to share it with someone, I just go down here and click this little export records button. And it will pop up this window, which shows me all the different time records. In this case, I only have one. And whenever I'm ready to save this, I can just simply go up to the file menu and save it as either a spreadsheet or as this formatted web page. So again, be on the lookout for some other videos on how to get more out of your time tag install. And thanks so much for watching. And be sure to reach out to us if you ever have any questions. You can find us at caparsa.com contact.